Hey guys, got level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to create Twitch panels using Instagram. So recently I've been obsessed with different ways of creating Twitch graphics for, for free and make it really accessible for everyone. So we've done videos on how to make it with paint, how to use a, a pre-made stuff. Of course, I have gumroad.com slash gal level where you can download already made panels, overlays and all that. Some of them are free. The other ones are very affordable. And I was tinkering with my tablet the other day. This is a, a Amazon Fire tablet, pretty much the cheapest tablet you can get. That's also from a popular brand. And then I realized how powerful the Instagram story thing is. It's pretty much a full on graphic design app that you can use to create whatever so why not use it to create twitch panels for example for a starter if you own a tablet or a phone then you will be able to follow along or, or just get inspiration from this tutorial i want as always i want to show you the creative process not just give you a step by step you guys have phones right <laughs> never gets old okay so this is what i came up with yesterday when i was playing around with it but we're gonna go ahead and delete all of that so the whole function here is uh instagram stories by the way follow me on instagram follow your boy it's gal.level so instagram.com slash gal.level or just at gal.level okay uh, i usually post my um diy stuff or projects work in progress i post all of that in my stories usually but anyways so if you're new to instagram if you come to your front page here you can click top there's gonna be that little icon for the for the stories basically and then with the new setup what you can do is click on create up here and it brings you to this page right can i tap so here you can tap to change the color. They already have some pre-made gradients. You don't have to use them. I don't like them. So we're gonna go with gray. And then here it can ask you to type something. What I like to do when I'm making panels, since I do pre-made overlays, I know exactly which panels I'm gonna type. I usually go with the longest word. And in that case, it's usually Instagram, which is a coincidence, but. So we're going to type Instagram. Basically, the reason why I do that is because I want the text to have the same format on every panel. So I want to make sure that my longest word is fitting within the panel. So we can tap next and here you can start customizing. So we're going to do it like this. And we're not going to be using the whole thing because like it's kind of excessive. This is a full 1080p screen. We're going to be using like half of it. You need to imagine the Twitch upload system and think about it okay so i have instagram here so the idea is simple you know we want a couple of shapes and we want some color right so when you tap here at the bottom here you'll see that you can select the text i want to pick something that is you know bold and also capital so i'm gonna put this and then i'm gonna tap again to create a new text and i'll go on my special characters and this is where you can really be creative and do pretty much what you want. But uh, we'll just improvise and put a couple of things. Usually you put a bunch of commas, a bunch of uh, periods, and, and you just create something, you know? It's just placing random shapes and, and colors. For now, we're keeping it uh, black and white. Now, the technique that I found out, if you're not going to be using everything, uh, as in a full 1080p screen, what you want to do is try to limit your uh, um, boundaries, basically. If you're not gonna be using the full 1080p, you need to know where to crop it once you bring it into Twitch. Cool thing you can do is like tap this, you can hold it in and then select all of this. So you can copy. That's a good way of copy pasting stuff easily. Hold that in, Whoop. paste, boom, you have another one. And you can go here. to change the color of that to a brighter we're not choosing colors yet so i'm just gonna go with a lighter gray done all right looks <laughs> it looks like piano keys now that should be fine so when i was talking about um limitation basically we want something that goes across at the bottom of the text so we know that once we bring it into twitch we're gonna have to crop it at the bottom like that so i like using you can use whatever you want, but we can use like just dots like that. Let's make a bunch of them. Okay, that's done. Let's cool. And like Instagram has so many features that help you out, you know, to make things centered and stuff like that, even though we're not doing anything centered. 
really here but basically you see here we know that we're gonna cut from here to here now we need a little bit of separation from from there and uh let's see what we can come up with uh i want to try underscore and of course depending on the special characters you're using you might want to change the font to see what it looks like see it's different depending on the font this one is more welded together I'm trying to find the words while i'm doing this see that's not separated at all that's just like a, a bar which is pretty cool well i like the separation since we already introduced it so i'm not against it uh i'm gonna actually copy this because i feel like i'm gonna duplicate it later on and we're just gonna place this and this will give us an idea of where we want like the actual size of the banner of course try to keep your text centered but seems good seems good so far I'm gonna paste it again boom let's make this bigger here now there's different techniques people will, will uh to add like graphics or just random shapes depending on letters i know i've seen a lot of people on instagram for example use that little squiggly thing and just really go crazy with it you know we will have it here and it, it'll be in the corner or something like that one thing to keep in mind is that if you want to select things um afterwards you need to remember that well you have to keep enough space that when you tap on them you'll be able to select them sometimes you just layer everything together and then instagram just doesn't let you uh select them anymore which is a shame okay so we can do that we can uh, start picking our colors although we can also oh see what i mean i tapped on the instagram and it selected the that thing i probably should have looked up what this thing is called because i'm gonna call it that thing the whole time see it's really not letting me select my text now i have to move this away and hopefully there you go i'll add it back later let's copy this done it's taking all of the you know what we'll add it at the end <laughs> this is really annoying i will paste our text Put it, make it big can already tell there's going to be some issues with that too and this is going to be our we're going to use that as like some sort of drop shadow so we're going to place this on top of it i feel like we're going to struggle selecting that too at some point but if you want to keep the workflow easier you might not want to duplicate text and do all of that really okay uh for colors let's go with a blue because apparently my community really enjoys the blue i'm more of a purple guy but that's fine Okay, you, are get, you already get a little bit of that effect. We can select. Those squiggly things are so annoying. Our weird piano lines. Give him the same blue. Nice. Actually, I might go all out on that. I like that. That's not bad. So this squiggly. <laughs> Calling it squiggly forever now. Boom. Give it some blue. It will be something like that. It's called approximately. It's the approximation symbol. Now, this might get in the way of actually editing this later on if we want to create another, um, like the rest of the panels. What else can we add? We can also draw because that's the possibility that we also have. And, and it's so cool. <laughs> so amazing that Instagram gives us all those those things. And we can invert the... Welcome to being an artist. You have to do this until you get a line that's acceptable. Although, let's just get a blue line. It's rotated, so it's even harder for me right now. You know what? I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> okay, and of course, you can draw on and put more details, but so far, so good. I'm just going to check to see if I am able to select stuff before I download this because I want... I don't want to have to move this around every time I need to change the text. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So, we have to delete this. And you know what? I'm going to delete that too. We're going to add a different sort of thing too. That's why like an array of special characters is always better because you have more control over it. Also, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Also, emojis work. Okay, so if you want to add emojis, feel free to do so. I think that's a 45 degree angle maybe. But Instagram does that pretty much automatically. Actually, I'm going to add less of this so it can be thicker. And this one will be blue. OK, 
Okay, same thing on the on the other side. Okay, so technically our panel is done. All we have to do is save. And there's a download button here. It's probably not very visible, but you just tap it once and it will say processing and then photo saved. We got our panel. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to fast forward that part. I'm going to export a bunch of them, a couple of them at least. And then I'm going to show you how to upload it. Well, I, I've already shown you how to upload it in my previous video, but we're going to go ahead and actually upload them to a Twitch channel and see what they look like. Okay, so as you can see, I try my best not to move the blue part because it was kind of like my anchor. What I did is basically move the white part, retype, only tap on the blue part to retype. And that way I could bring the white part on top of it without moving anything. I accidentally moved it, the blue part at some point. So hopefully the, the, the difference won't be too visible, but I believe we have enough um, of those to actually go ahead and upload to our Twitch channel. So let's uh, do that. So anyways, once you're done making them with Instagram, you can send them to your computer. So I already emailed them to myself. And for example, I, I already rotated some of them, but if you wanted to know how to rotate them, just open them in Windows. And up top here, you'll see a rotation thing. And uh, you just rotate until it seems like it fits, right? Let's rotate this. Okay, so now we're on my alternate account, logged in with the right channel. Let's go to, about, to the about section. Okay, we have a failed attempt here. Let's go and edit panels and see what comes up. Add image. I want to make sure I'm putting like the HD ones because I ran them through another app that kind of messed up the quality. So about me is fine. There you go. And then all you have to do is this. See that? You just place it where you have your limits. Yeah, under the dots here is fine. Click done. Click submit. Let's uh, turn off edit panels real quick. Ooh, you see that? Okay, let's add the other ones. Okay, so for some reason, OBS stopped recording at this point. So editor, future editor, get level here. And uh, this is what the panels look like. Of course, my, my mouth is not going to be in sync with what you're hearing right now, because that's me in the future. And that was me in the past. Anyway, so it goes to show that with Instagram, you can create panels. The goal here, I know that there's a bunch of graphic design apps like Canva or Over and all those apps that are dedicated to making graphic design. But my goal here was to show you that you can take something, anything that gives you a little bit of option with text, with colors, with, with drawing and stuff like that. You can use that to your advantage and create uh, um, at least the most basic levels of uh, graphic design and improve your Twitch channel. My goal is really to show that there's no excuses. I've already made a video showing you how you can make uh, overlays and also panels with Microsoft Paint. So there's there's really nothing. <laughs> there's really no excuses. You can you can do them from your phone now using just Instagram. You don't need to learn a new software. You don't need to learn a new app. All you need to do is use what you already have and and make it happen of course they're not amazing uh, they're not high quality as you would do them in photoshop and stuff like that but they're they're better than most people on twitch honestly <laughs> i'll tell you that right now anyways if you want to see more videos kind of like that and uh, with different stuff that you can do with with mobile uh please let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas for future videos, also let me know. If you are looking for pre-made overlays and you don't have time to make them yourself or learn how to make them yourself, you can go to gumroad.com slash level. This is where I keep them. <laughs> this is where I have a bunch of pre-made ones. They are mostly free and then the rest is just inexpensive. I will say affordable, accessible to everyone. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level, editor guy level. Out. <laughs>